Hi friends, welcome to Merry Christmas Palooza, hosted by the super talented Crafting with Andy Annie Jones. Links to Annie's channel and the playlist will be in the description box. Candyland themed Christmas DIYs are some of my favorites, so I have two of those for you today. Okay, so for this DIY, I've got rustic pink, a matte rust-oleum paint that I'm gonna use for um, this mirror I have. To put on my mirror, I have um, a container of sweets, faux sweets I found on Amazon, some candy cane twine, some painter's tape, and then I have a piece of wax paper covering so the mirror so I don't have like a bunch of um, glare up. Um, into the camera but so I'm gonna start by just cutting around my wax paper so I can have this fit um, perfectly onto the mirror so once I start to add all of my embellishment there really won't be so much of a glare So I'm just going to uh, pull a bit of the wax paper down so I can start to get my tape added and just laying my tape directly down and then I'm going to use my, sa <clears throat> my same little craft knife to just cut around so I have a perfect fit around the shape of the mirror. And so I just, after um, I get my first piece cut, I'm just going to work my way around doing the same thing, just adding tape and cutting around to make sure that I have the exact exact shape of the mirror cut so that none of my mirror is exposed once I start to spray paint. So I'm just making sure that all of my tape is pressed down and there aren't any areas where any of the paint can seep through onto the mirror. Okay, I did two full coats and I let the paint dry uh, for about two hours in between the coats. So um, this is thoroughly dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my tape and then cover it over with this so there's not a lot of glare. And um, then start adding all of my little sweets that I want to um, have surrounding my little tray. I was kind of nervous pulling this tape up, but I was so relieved to see that none of the paint had actually gotten onto the mirror and the tape had actually done its job. So in addition to this little container, I also have other little packs of sweets and little holiday flatbacks that I plan to incorporate around the mirror as well. So I just start to play around with some of these pieces, taking them out to see um, how they look and moving them around. And then um, I found one of the um, wooden Dollar Tree gingerbread men that I had previously painted last year. And I figured I would add him in and I would need to um, go ahead and I'm gonna give him a little face and add some little faux icing and little gumdrop buttons to him with just a paint pen. And then I continue to just play around with little pieces, moving them around. And once I get set, then I'm gonna use um, some Clear Grip Gorilla Glue. I like that better than the Fix All Glue that Dollar Tree sells. That glue, um, it's kind of watery and you have to give it a few minutes to kind of get tacky before um, you can really add your pieces. The Gorilla Glue, it's, it's already tacky once it comes out of the tube and I like the hold of the Gorilla Glue a lot better.
So for some of the pieces, I'm just gonna add the glue directly onto the higher parts of the mirror frame and then others I can just, that nestle right down into the groove, I can just add the glue directly to the piece um, itself. And then some of them, they don't actually sit flush, so I kinda have to put glue on one side and kinda nestle them in the little groove. So once I added enough of the sweets that looked good to my eye, I just set this aside and just let it um, set for like an hour while I moved on to my second project. Everything is glued down and the back of this, I didn't show that. But you can hang this up. It's a hangable faux mirror. And actually the shape of it, you could, you know, have a grouping of like um, six or nine of these. Like, you know, uh, three rows of three would be really cute with the shape of this. But I think this turned out so cute as a little tray. Love it. And then here it is with just a few items added to it. I think this turned out so cute and this looks so great as a tray. I'd love to know what do you think of this sweets tray? Okay, for this DIY, I have three of these white LED pillar candles from Dollar Tree. Two different types of peppermint stripe fabric from Dollar Tree. Classic red and white, and then red, white, and green. So I think I should have enough to do all three of these. Mod Podge them um, with the red and white, but if I don't, then I'll have one with the green like as a an accent I guess but I think I have enough let's see two of them and then roll let's see. that should be enough and then if I roll this one up That should be enough. So with the candle being about five inches long, I'm just gonna um, set it against the fabric and just use this rotary tool. I found this at Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna um, go ahead and just get my fabric cut into strips to make it easier to get it mob podged onto each candle. So with my strips cut, I just do a dry fitting, rolling my fabric up to see about where I should cut my excess and I will end up having um, enough from each roll to um, do some other DIYs with. So I take that first strip and just lay that onto my excess fabric and use that as a template to go ahead and make um, my second round of cuts. So 
So with all my strips cut out, I'm taking a fan brush and adding my gloss Mod Podge and then I'll just work in small sections, pressing my fabric into um, the candle and just adjusting it as I need to and smoothing out any wrinkles or bubbles just to get it as flat as possible and making sure that I don't have any gaps or any parts of the actual uh, white part of the candle showing. And as I get to the very end, I just cut off that excess bit of fabric and smooth the fabric into the Mod Podge as much as possible. And then I went ahead and I did just a few more snips just to make sure that there wasn't a lot of excess fabric folded over the initial layer that was already laying on the wax. And I'm sorry, I'm going out of frame a bit, but I was just kind of uh, forgetting about the camera when I was trying to make sure that I had everything Mod Podge down and I didn't have any, you know, big pieces of excess fabric and doing like little snips and smoothing. So I let the candle set up and dry for um, about an hour, hour and a half and they were dry to the touch so then i just went around with my detail scissors and snipped off the excess fabric pulled the tab and turned them on and when you know one of them didn't want to come on <laughs> and i'm like come on like i pressed into the battery and it kind of started to flicker a little bit I'm like uh but you know for a dollar 25 what do i expect anywho these are all three of them set up together i think they look super cute love this peppermint look and then um, I decided to see, okay, how are these gonna look in the dark, covered with, you know, with the fabric covering them. I mean, it, they're not super duper bright. It's supposed to give like a flickering effect, but still, I like the way this looks. I think this turned out so adorable. And then here's how the candy cane candles look on the Candyland tray. Love it, looks so cute. Let me know what do you think of both of these sweet DIYs. Don't forget, there is a playlist, and I will have a link to Annie's channel and the Christmas Palooza playlist. I can't wait to see all of the cool recipes and different crafts that people come up with. I hope you have an incredibly blessed Christmas season.